Hello, I'm Vishal Jamkar. I'm honored to receive Joseph Mazanozer Award on the behalf of the Anticast Collective. The award is for internationalization of curriculum and campus on caste scholarship and student activism around anti-caste organizing. Several individuals and collectives across different castes, nationalities, gender, and such diversities work together towards the goal of a casteless society. I honor them by mentioning their names at the end of this video. I am but a member of this movement. I express my sincere gratitude to the award committee and the Global Programs and Strategy Alliance for honoring us and thereby recognizing the importance of our work. I am doubly honored to receive this award in the month of April. April is celebrated as a Dalit History Month in honor of Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar's birthday on 14th April. Ambedkar was an Indian icon born in caste operated Dalit community in India. Not only caste operated communities, but everyone who envisages and work towards a casteless society owes it to him. To say briefly about caste, it is division of laborers as shown in the picture on the right hand side. It affects more than 250 million people in the world. When I came to graduate school in 2018 at the University of Minnesota, I didn't thought that I would encounter the question of caste in foreign land. But I could share several experiences in campus, in informal meetings, university bus service, festival time, within and beyond university, to come to a disturbing conclusion that caste is very much active in the United States. On contrary to what many would like to believe. After discussing with academics and activists and Ambedkar collectives across US, the anti-caste collective and the critical caste study groups were conceived. Anti-caste collective organized deliberations with South Asian diaspora. Caste study group started reading on caste scholarship. We also invited guest lecturers. We organized film screenings, dance performances. Members of the collective wrote open research articles on caste and circulated it widely. Various student collectives at the Humphrey School, along with the anti caste collective, proposed a resolution to include caste in the equity and inclusion criteria to the Equity and Inclusion Council of Humphrey School. It was full heartedly supported by Dean Nisha Botchway and my advisors, Dr. Samuel Myers Jr. and Dr. Ragi Asad, amongst many others at the Humphrey School. I'm so happy to share that Humphrey School became the first public affairs school in the North America to recognize caste as a DI criteria. Along with that, in his department, Gender, Women and Sexuality Studies, College of Biological Science also incorporated caste in their DI criteria. Later on, the issue was taken up at the university level by both Council of Graduate Students and Student Senate to make caste a protected category. The Anti-Caste Collective and its allies had several rounds of meetings with the members of the Office of Equity and Diversity. Faculty Senate overwhelmingly supported the proposal and finally, the University of Minnesota became the first university in Midwest to add caste explainer in the university policy where anyone can register caste discrimination happening on campus. Although we have come this far, we have miles to go. Most importantly, caste 3 needs to be recognized as a protected category. We'll, st we'll still do not have a single faculty or staff or, and only have a handful of students from the caste operates background. At the end, I would like to acknowledge and thank individuals and collectives which have supported and nurtured this initiative and without their support, we wouldn't have been able to come this far. I end my presentation by greeting everyone Jai Bhim, which helps Dr. Ambedkar. Thank you.